If I close my factory on Shabbat, I will lose 4,000 rubles each time. That was the reply given to the Chofetz Chaim by a Jewish factory owner in Chernikov in northern Ukraine after the Chofetz Chaim had appealed to him to keep Shabbat, to close his factory, where he was employing many Jewish people. The Chofetz Chaim had explained, at the beginning of Parshat Vayakhel, we are given yet again the mitzvah of Shabbat, and on this occasion the Torah says, Sheshet yamim teya Your work shall be performed on six days. Uvayom hashvi'i yelachem kodesh, and on the seventh day, you must have a holy day. The Chofetz Chaim explained the Torah doesn't say here ta'a semelacha, you will perform work, but rather te'a semelacha, work will be performed. And the mitzvah of keeping Shabbat is connected to the work during the week in order to teach us that if you keep Shabbat, te'a semelacha, your work will be sufficiently performed during the week and you will have a secure income. The Chofetz Chaim was saying that ultimately, we do not rely exclusively upon our own efforts to bring in an income. We are partners of Hashem and it is ultimately Hashem who has the responsibility of dispensing all the money and treasure that exists in the world. Unfortunately, the Chofetz Chaim's words fell on deaf ears. But a few years later, that very same factory owner wrote a letter to the Chofetz Chaim. He said he was writing with tears in his eyes. The Bolsheviks had taken over his city. His factory had been snatched away from him and he was left with nothing. If only I had listened to you, he said to the Chofetz Chaim. You know, I can understand how it is possible for somebody to keep Shabbat but to be worried on Shabbat. If one thinks all the time, if only I'd be at work, if only I'd be earning more. I'm missing out on opportunities today to bring in a greater income. However, if, let's say, your boss would be saying to you, take the day off, don't worry, keep your Sabbath, everything will be all right in the business, then when you're keeping Shabbat, you won't have any worries at all. How much more so, therefore, when the boss of the world is saying to us, keep Shabbat and teya semelacha, during the week, your work will be sufficiently done. I will guarantee that through your observing of the Sabbath day, you will have a proper and steady income. I have seen on so many occasions how there are wonderful Jewish people with incredible devotion and commitment who have kept Shabbat lovingly. Not only have they enjoyed a life-enhancing, spiritually uplifting day once in every seven days, but in addition, they have had a secure income. Shabbat Shalom.